Renee McMaster's here, Princess of the InfoWars. Drove down from Missouri to Montgomery, Alabama. I'm standing here in front of the Civil the Southern Poverty Law Center, which is across the street from the Civil Rights Memorial. My friend Daryl Perry and, here, and I are here to um, deliver these flowers to the SPLC and to let them know that we are peaceful and that our message is of love and that we come in peace and that we fight hate with love and that the Southern Poverty Law Center showed us hate by labeling us as domestic threats or terrorist and put us on a list and so I'm here to question them I want to know where they did their research where they got this information from and if they've ever met anybody from Liberty Restoration Project anybody from Restore the Republic anybody from in the Fed anybody from we are change if they've ever met Catherine Bleich Alex Jones, Gary Franchi, all of you freedom fighters who are out there fighting the info wars and fighting for our free freedoms and fighting for our civil rights, fighting against things like the Patriot Act and no fly lists. So somebody's coming out to meet with us. Um, I called ahead and tried to get a re meeting. Nobody called me back. So somebody's finally going to come out and meet with us and we're going to see what happens. So we'll keep you tuned. Thanks. I'm Tom. I'm with the Security Department. Hey, Tom. It's How very you nice to meet you. Good. Daryl. Hey, Daryl. Uh, I've arranged for a meeting with you and Heidi Byrd. Great. Um, if you want to follow me, we'll process you in in the uh, lobby, and okay. and we'll she'll be glad to meet with you now. We're, Renee's going in, but but you're going to have to wait out here, okay? Okay. Okay. What I need you to do is see Officer Lee here. He's going to we're going to process you. Hi, you Officer Lee. Lee. Hey, I tell her I need you to turn that off, if you would, please. So what's up? Well, I'm not just Thank a you. I'm not just a protester. I'm also an anarchist, and I'm also a member of several groups that were listed in your latest intelligence report and on your website. I know about We Are Change. We Are Change, also Liberty Restoration Project out of Kansas City. Okay. You know they're on the Patriot list, not the hate list. I know they're on the Patriot list. Everybody's been reporting out there in We Are Changed Land that we put you guys on the hate list, and it's just false. Well, and we just, we don't understand. We really don't understand because uh, we don't understand what the fear is and, and why, why somebody, why an organization that is so powerful and that has the money to bring litigation against people and groups um, and has the money to donate to political campaigns. Um, don't do that, it's illegal. Well, the, who has the money to, you know, to, to go after and pursue people. Um, we pursue hate groups, you know that. We sue the Klan, that's right. what we've done over that's the right. years. And, and, you know, we, I'm not sure why that would apply to you. Well, if it doesn't apply to us, then why, why even, List us. Why even give us the time of day? We don't deserve your attention. <laughs> well, let me explain. First of all, I would appreciate it if you tell your colleagues that we don't list We Are Change as a hate group. It's just false. And I can't tell you how many pages on the net, right, because I've been looking, given the protests coming up, say this. It's repeated over and over again. It's a false allegation. And we just appreciate it if that were cleared up. The reason that We Are Change is on the Patriot group list is because like the other organizations on there, We Are Change trades in conspiracy theories, anti-government conspiracy theories that are common in that world. And we've been tracking Patriot groups for, I mean, since like 1994, and there's a reason for that. That kind of conspiracy mongering in the past, well, not really in the past, even recently, anti extreme anti-government conspiracy mongering has led to a lot of domestic terrorism and violence. is because like the other organizations on there, We Are Change trades in conspiracy theories, anti-government conspiracy theories 
that are common in that world. And we've been tracking patriot groups for, I mean, since like 1994, and there's a reason for that. That kind of conspiracy mongering in the past, well, not really in the past, even recently, anti extreme anti-government conspiracy mongering has led to a lot of domestic terrorism and violence. Anti extreme anti-government conspiracy mongering has led to a lot of domestic terrorism and violence. It's Where? just a fact. Where? The Holocaust Museum shooting. That guy was motivated by extreme anti-government views. There was a dirty bomber in Maine who was motivated by extreme anti-government views. There, these are all recent. These were from last year. There was a guy in um, Pittsburgh who shot down three cops in the front yard of his home who was engaging in anti-conspiracy. All this stuff. We, that is why we have the Patriot List, because that kind of right-wing domestic terrorism is a great concern to us. And when we looked at We Are Change, we saw the same kinds of things on the We Are Change website, stated by its leaders, as exist in all the right-wing patriot groups. I mean, you may not share our concerns over domestic terrorism. Sure. You may not share our concerns over right-wing extremism, but that's what we do. Well, you know, here's, here's the thing, here's our common ground. This is the common ground with all of the groups. Um, that I have been associated with, and even some of the hate groups. The thing is, is that we want peace. I don't think hate groups want peace, right? 